Now let's talk about a very important resource provided by Google, which is the Keywords Planner. It is an add-on to the AdWords program used to promote things on Google search, but is also very useful for market research. Let me just walk you through the details, why, and then we try to do an example. So first of all, it enables you to estimate the size of the market. So you can see what people were looking for and also see how many times in a given period they were looking for it, which enables you to estimate how big the market is. It is also very important to differentiate between searches and things you share or like on social media. The searches are usually much, much stronger because it means not only potential consumption, but actually guys willing to go all the way and uh, take some money from their pocket and put it on the table, pay for a product. So this is much, much stronger than whatever you find in social media. Now, the other thing which is also very important is that it enables you to define how much you would have to spend to get into the market. So apart from the number of searcher, Keyword Planner gives you an estimated cost per click, which you would have to pay to get on the first page of Google search. So in this manner, you are able to know how much you would have to pay to get paid traffic, which in the beginning is probably one of the very important sources of your future potential customers. Some tips on, on what you should do and what you should not do. So first of all, look at the price per click, but also look for the number of searches performed. And uh, ideally, you would obviously look for something which has big number of searches, but a low number of competition uh, and low cost per click. Another thing which is also very important, it's, it's not always optimal to be on the first page in terms of conversion purpose. Since you pay per click and not per result, it's not an affiliate program. It is also worth mentioning that the guys going to the second page are more likely to uh, buy from you. So actually, although it sounds counterintuitive, being on the second page may give you higher results with lower costs of acquisition. And the last thing, whenever you are estimating the, the budget for your marketing activities, getting the paid traffic, always have in mind how much you would be earning per customer, what would be the lifetime value of the customer, because the cost of acquisition cannot be higher than the lifetime value. It should be actually much, much, much lower. The, the rule of thumb for you would be that the cost of acquisition is around 30% of the lifetime value. Now let's go to the Keyword Planner and show you how it actually works. Now, Keyword Planner is a part of the Google AdWords. So you have to have a Gmail account. And once you have it, open a Google AdWords account. If you already have it, please go to the tools and then use the Keyword Planner here. You should be starting with, with this field where you put the phrase you are interested in. Let's say we stick to the fitness example. So we put the, the fitness. Here you can also stipulate the, the, the target segment. So you can choose the country, choose the language, choose the search, choose what kind of words should not be included in the search, filter the keywords, so put something which it should include or put other filters on this. For timing, we, we, we don't do use it. So let's just see what he gets from the fitness. So we got that on average in the USA, you would have around four million on average monthly searches in this uh, category. Below you will find the, the ad group idea. So he gives you some sort of a grouping where you can see more or less what the searches are about. But you can also go to the keywords, ideas, searches, and again, sort them from biggest to the smallest one. So as you can see, bodybuilding would be the first one, 24 hour fitness is the second one, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Here are the average monthly searches, the competition level, and then here is the suggested bit you'd need to match in order to be somewhere in the first one. You can download the data here, so you can put it into Excel and uh, then analyze it additionally and see what works for you and not. And as we said, this is very useful for getting the results on the market research. And remember also to play with different phrases because you sometimes are not able to get from the first try. As you can see here, the suggested phrases by, by, by Google Keyword Planner, sometimes they have nothing to do or not much to do with the word fitness like weight loss or the bodybuilding. 